Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a really simple Python UI application. First thing you, s you need is obviously Python itself, which can be downloaded from their official web page. So go to Python and download. And I recommend downloading the most recent version, for me it's 3.6.4. So download it and save it somewhere so we will be able to find it later. So if I go sub downloads and click on exit file. So uh, this is how it looks like at the start of an installation. Um, here you need to check add Python 3.6 to path and uh, check and click on customize installation. It's very important that you leave all checkboxes checked because you will need some of those features later. And go next. You can leave it as it is. Here you can customize your inst install location if you want, but I will just leave it as it is. So click install. So once our Python is successfully installed, we can close the installer. So the easiest way to make sure if our installation was successful is to go here in search bar and type cmd in command prompt. And then just simply type Python. If your installation was successful, here you should see your version of Python. So to make sure, you can write some really simple code of Python here. Let's say print hello world and yeah, it works. So our installation was successful. So I can exit uh, Python for now. And the next thing we need is PyQt5. And the easiest way to install it is right here via command prompt. So just type pipe free, install, and then pyqt5, like this, and type enter. Well, I already have installed my pyqt5 on my computer, so I can do it twice. So my command prompt remind me of that. So you will be probably, you will probably need to wait some, some more minutes to install it. So. Uh, the next thing, you also need to install uh, PyQt5 tools, where will be um, Qt Designer included. So just copy the previous line and uh, add dash tools. So when our PyQt5 tools are completely installed, we can now uh, see if we have them in our Python folder. So if you did exactly as I did um, when you were installing Python, you can go in Win uh, Windows File Explorer and go to C drive right here and go to Programs file, Program files and go to Python 3.6 for me, okay? And lib and site packages. And here we have PyQt5 tools. And if we look here, we have Qt Designer. Okay. And if we open it, it should look something like this. Okay, so now we can create our new form. Uh, make sure that you have main window selected and click create. Okay, now we can first remove uh, this menu bar and add a button like this. Now we will save our UI. Okay, so I will save it as like this.ui and now we will create our Python file. So let's go here into search bar and type idle. And here go to file, new file. And here will be our Python code for our UI. First, we need to import some libraries from our PyQt5. For now, QT, QT widgets and UIC will do just fine. 
Later we will use some others, which will be explained in later episodes. In the next line we will initialize Qt's application, like this. Then we will load our user interface, which we created in our Qt designer. In this, uh, in this step it's very important that you gave it the same name as you did in in the designer when you save the user interface as something.ui. In my case I save it as test.ui. Then we just called both of them. So our our uh, user interface will be shown when the program will start. Then we need to save our Python script and it's very important that it's saved at the same location as user interface. In my case, um, in the same location as my test.ui user interface. The name of Python file doesn't have to be the same as user interface file. And here we go, our Python file is working and successfully showing our user interface. As you can see, button doesn't do anything, but we will correct that in later episodes. So thank you for watching and I hope I will see you in some of my next videos.